recently received the Promethean LP1 from Lead and Steel. And today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video. So I'm going to throw it on the workbench here so I can get hands on and take a closer look at this optic. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's dive into this uh, Promethean LP1 that's from Lead and Steel. And just taking a look at the box here, you can see it's 7075 aluminum. 30,000 hour battery and a lower one third co-witness. And that's one of the things that drew me to this optic. I'm a fan of taller, uh, taller optics. So one third, definitely a fan of that. Uh, just flipping it around here, taking a look at this side, you can see the different reticle options that are uh, available. Of course, it's night vision compatible. All right, so let's pop the top off and see what we got inside. Got a little uh, lens cloth. We got a, a little a tool here, look, adjustment tool, potentially something for the uh, the battery cap. ACR123 Alpha uh, battery. And then of course we have our the optic itself. Pretty good looking optic there. Got the lead and steel logo up front. Promethean on the side there. Windage and elevation, no caps. It's just recessed in there to protect the dowels. I like that. Nice and easy to make adjustments there. And uh, uh, we got our quick release lever integrated into the mount. Another really good feature. So uh, looks good. Let's uh, toss a battery in here. It designates that as the negative side. All right. So that, that's good to know. So that'll keep us from uh, putting the battery backwards. So I can already see the LED emitter. This is an LED optic, not a holographic optic. So here we are. We got the, the optic here at the reticle. I'm just going to kind of cycle through some reticle options by pressing both the up and down arrow at the same time. So you got your circle dot. You have just a dot and you have a circle by itself. So I'm uh, gonna kind of keep it on the circle dot for now. And it, it looks it looks pretty good. So a uh, good looking dot here. Uh, you can see if you take a look at this exterior, this is kind of like a protective exoskeleton um, that's going to protect the optic itself from any uh, types of falls or smashes or anything like that. They do sell replacement. Uh, I believe this is called their uh, the Crush Shield, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but you can get replacement ones, and they also have these available in different colors, which is nice because you can get it kind of kind of match your setup there. Let's throw it on the scale, see how we're looking weight wise. Looks like we are at 12 ounces. So 12 ounces. That's with the battery installed and ready to go. So. Um, one thing that this optic has that's pretty unique is that it uses this Aurora wake system. Unlike normal shake to wake where you have to worry about the, uh, the reticle potentially not turning back on when you need it, the Aurora wake only turns off that outer 65 MOA reticle and leaves on that dot in the middle. So it's going to be saving you a whole lot of battery life. And worst case scenario, if for some reason that shake to wake feature doesn't work, you're always going to have that dot in the middle. So you're still going to be able to utilize that reticle. Uh, pretty cool. So I'm excited to get this installed on a firearm and uh, get, it at the, get it to the range, kind of check it out, get some firsthand experience with it. And it uh, looks like a pretty good optic. So let me know what you think about the Promethean LP1 just based on the unboxing video. Let me know down below in the comments below. And uh, thanks for watching.